Okay, hi everyone. I today I am going to take you through a quick tutorial of how to rank and index a free Weebly site. So starting off here we see my stats page that I've done for the site and right there there's my site azfishinginfo.weebly.com it's a, a website about fishing in Arizona and right here are my stats so far so basically what what we can see is that most of these stats are not from people visiting the site they're actually from uh, web searches like Google uh, crawling my site to uh, see what type of content I have so let me just take you into the site I decided to pick a free host because I didn't really want to spend a ton of money up front to create this website and I really didn't want to have to pay a monthly fee to keep a domain running so I just decided to go with Weebly and a lot of people told me to actually go with Blogger instead of Weebly just because it ranks faster on Google but um, to be totally honest I didn't like the layout of Blogger and it didn't have everything that I wanted so I decided to go with Weebly instead and I've actually done pretty good so far in uh, ranking it. So uh, let me tell you about the first thing you have to do when trying to rank a Weebly site. And the first thing is definitely uh, open a webmaster account with Google. Uh, basically what it is, is you submit your site to webmaster and it's gonna tell you a lot of things like what errors are found with your site, what how many impressions or clicks you have on your certain site and uh how many of your urls are indexed and how many have been submitted so uh the first thing you have to do when you get a webmaster account is you definitely need to create a sitemap for webmaster if you don't then they're never going to know uh all the content that's on your site so basically all you do is you say add or test a sitemap and you'll see my website's already in there. The great thing about Weebly is that it already comes with a sitemap. All you have to do is type in your URL, just like I did there. And then all you have to do is type uh, sitemap slash or dot XML. And that'll automatically upload the sitemap to Webmaster. And as you can see so far, uh, my site's done pretty well. I have 54 or 53 submitted web pages out of and 47 have been indexed. The reason there's six differences is that I just uploaded six more and uh, Google probably doesn't have them in their system yet. But as you can see it's it's ranked pretty fast so 47 of my web pages are already indexed on Google and I've only had this site probably about two months so that's pretty good. That's the other thing if you don't create a webmaster account it is going to take you much longer to index and rank a free hosting site such as Weebly or Blogger you have to have it in order for Google to be able to crawl which is the next thing I'll go into I'll go into the crawl area so basically you have a few tabs one is crawl errors which will tell you the errors that are found with your site most of these are URLs that weren't found and uh, actually all of these that are on here are URLs that I deleted a long time ago but Google still picked up on the the broken links so all of these are fine just make sure that your home page isn't in here if it isn't that's bad but everything else is good my DNS is good server connectivity and the robots which is what I'll go in right now if you go back to Weebly and you go to settings basically what you're going to see is a bunch of SEO tools that you can enter in by yourself and if you see this little box right here that says prevent search engines from indexing the site if you click that box then no search engine is going to be able to index or crawl your site so you have to leave that open if you want Google to index it or crawl it do not click it so I'll go back to the top here and for the site description you want to keep it between 125 to 150 characters don't go over that and make sure to include some of the keywords that are are used in your site most often so as you can see I have Arizona fishing Arizona fishing a, a lot of different things in there that'll make it good for the meta keywords you really don't want to use less than five or more than 15 if you use more than 15 you're gonna get into trouble because the search engine is gonna be trying to index and rank your site for too many keywords and then it really won't rank it which is pretty bad so try to keep it between like 6 and 14 
uh, meta keywords that relate to your site. The footer code here really isn't anything important. It's only if you have a Google Analytics account, which will tell you like where your traffic's coming from uh, and the demographics of your, your viewers, which that's kind of nice to have, and I'll kind of go into that a little bit later. The header code here is only for uh, the webmaster verification. They'll give you a code at the beginning of your uh, the beginning of your uh, sign up, and all you have to do is enter in the code, save it, and that'll verify that the site is actually yours. Uh, the the redirects here are are pretty self explanatory. If I ch was to change my site to a www um, azfishinginfo.com instead of Weebly, uh, I would just have to enter in the older URL, which is my Weebly site. And all links that are currently like this would be directed towards my new site. So I don't have that right now, but uh, just to tell you. So moving on, after we go through Webmaster, and actually you can do Bing Webmaster, and uh, Yahoo also has their own version of Webmaster if you want to try to rank it with their site. Right now I'm currently only ranked on Google, and let me just show you that I'm actually ranked. So my site is right there. I am number one for... Arizona fishing info my actual keywords which is which is okay I'm trying to get it ranked just for Arizona fishing but right now I'm ranked number one for Arizona fishing info it's not the greatest set of keywords in the world but it, I have gotten a little bit of traffic and if you look every single one of these is a link from my site including a video that I did on YouTube so um, Weebly, can, Weebly sites can get ranked properly if you do it correctly one of my favorite sites to kinda get the search engines to start crawling is a Pingomatic. Basically, what you do is um, you go in and you enter in your website name, your website address, and then your your RSS feed if you have a blog, which I do on my Weebly site. And what you can do is that you can ping it to all these different websites. And basically, what that's telling the search engine is that your site is ready to be indexed and crawled, and that uh, you're ready for it to go online. So that'll that'll help you get the web the uh, search engines crawling towards your site. Uh, another thing I really recommend is opening like a Flickr account or a uh, Instagram account. I have a Flickr account and it's really good just because you don't want to fill up your site with a ton of like uh, images and HTML. So um, upload all your images to uh, another site like Flickr and then just direct your traffic towards Flickr if they want to see it. I honestly think that's a really good way to get people to get off your site and that also creates great backlinks because if they comment on these these uh pictures here then you can comment directly back and post your website which Google would count as a backlink so that's a really good feature as you can see I got a few pictures uploaded so far not many yet but as soon as people start commenting it's just it's a great way to start building your traffic towards your site honestly the best SEO if you don't want to pay and I honestly don't recommend paying anyone to to do your SEO for you if you pay somebody it's always going to be a crock it's it's never good if you if you're willing to spend thousands of dollars on a high quality SEO client from a reputable website yes it's going to work and they're gonna do it very well but if you're only paying 5 10 15 20 bucks to get some backlinks it, it's not gonna work I've tried it with other sites before and it just doesn't work so uh, I think the greatest way to get really good backlinks and some really good advertisement towards your site is creating a, a YouTube page. As you can see, I got Fish Arizona here, and I've uploaded a few videos so far, and I've gotten a few views. I only have two subscribers because I only opened this account about a week ago. But I mean, look at you can put a link directly to your website, and then look at I got my Google Plus account, my Facebook account, my Twitter, and my Flickr account. So anybody that comes and views these videos or subscribes to you can go here to your channel, and they can click on any single one of these these links, which links directly back to your site. And if somebody comments on one of these videos, you know, which which I uploaded, then you can just comment right back and and say, here, come to my site. As you can see, nobody's commented, but I already put a link if anybody was interested to go back to my site. So it's 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 pretty impressive what you can do. Um, going back to Weebly, there's there's a few things that you have to do in order to get the search engines really coming towards your site. And number one is have a blog. As you can see here, my home my main page here is actually my blog, and um, I I filled it up with some really good content and images. Now the thing about images in your blog is you don't want to use too many of them. You want to use a good amount. Usually you should have about eighty percent text, twenty percent images right now I have about 40 percent images and 60 percent text which isn't the greatest and I'm trying to work on that but as you can see 
I have one picture to a bunch of text, and really that's all you're supposed to do. You know, in times past, I was putting two pictures. It's not the greatest thing to do because the search engines want to see text and want to see original content. The pictures, they really don't go over, and it doesn't matter too much. So looking at the top of the page, you always want to include your social media links at the top of the page because then it can direct people back to your social media area. And it's it's always going to make a really good impression if somebody's came from one of your social links and sees them on their thing because then you're, it just looks reputable. Another thing is you have to make sure that your, your, your main title is an actual HTML code. As you can see, I got the Arizona Fishing Info logo here. This isn't my HTML title. When the search engine reads, just, it just reads Arizona Fishing Info. It, it only counts as some keywords. It really doesn't count as my main title. This right here is actually my main title because I actually have an H1 uh, HTML tag on here. As you can see, this is an, an HTML, custom HTML tag. And basically what it's telling the, the search engine is that this is the most important title on the page right here. Even though it doesn't look as flashy as this right here, because this is an actual Weebly custom thing, this HTML thing is actually what the uh, search engine is reading. And if you go on any SEO uh, website that tells you, tells you what to do for your site, they always tell you to have an H1 tag in your title. So that's really good. These titles here, like Christmas Tree, like 2014, is actually an H2 HTML tag. And basically what it's telling the search engine is that while this is the most important tag right here, this is the second most important. So the search engine is going to read each one of these tags and classify them as pretty important. So that's always a good thing. And try to include a few keywords in your in your titles each time. If you do, then the search engine is going to really like it and are going to want to rank your site. So let me go to back to my stats. Or actually, really quick, uh, if you look at my site, I actually have some really good information on the site here. And another good thing to have is a form. And while I've only had friends and family and people that I know come onto the site so far because I'm not ranked very high in the actual keyword Arizona Fishing, uh, once people actually do come onto the forum and post stuff, it's always good to get people to comment because if you can get a comment back on here, it counts it as a backlink for Google. So that's always a good thing. Another thing that you have to have on your site is a contact page. And while it's not really necessary. It's always good to see that because then somebody could email you if they have a question or if they just have a comment and it just, it makes your site look a lot more professional and search engines really like it too, because it shows you that it's not just a spam page. Another thing is please do not add any type of content from ClickBank or don't try to sell anything affiliate marketing based on here because the search engines, they know exactly what that is and they know exactly what it's meant for. And most of the time they count it as spam. Don't put any type of that stuff on there. You can add, you can go to AdSense and add some ads to the side of your page if you want, maybe to collect some revenue that way, but do not add anything from ClickBank. They will see that right away and they will not like it. Going back to my site stats right here, I will show you what's going on. So basically at the beginning here, I was just getting a few views from people that I know and a few social media things that I'd sent out to people. And then eventually, as I was getting a few more backlinks and posting comments and stuff, I was getting the search engines to crawl my site, as you can see here. I had 88 views, 88 views that day, and most of that it was search engines trying to come down and, and view my site. And then as it progressed, I started to pick up a little bit more, and, and the search engines started noticing me more. Until finally, like today, I have 354 page views, which actually is mostly search engines, but that means that they're crawling my site quite quite extensively. So basically... When we look that I'm the top search in the Arizona Fishing Info keyword, basically what happens is um, eventually I will be ranked no, ranked in just the Arizona Fishing uh, category. Like right now, I'm not even ranked in the Arizona Fishing category. I'm on like page 12, which is not good, but it's going to take time. I've had this site since the early December, and... It's it's been a long process to get it off the ground. I'm trying to get Bing to index my site right now, which is really good for other search engines. But if you want if you want a Weebly site to work, you have to have to add some really good content and get some social media uh, sites going and get some backlinks going and make a YouTube page if you can. It's the best thing that you can do. But as you can see, I've I've, I've been pretty successful so far at, at doing it. And while it might not be the best yet, I'm really hoping I can get it off the ground soon. Um, if you have any comments or uh, questions or anything that I can improve on in my site, please comment in the video section. I'd really appreciate it. And I'll get back to you quick. And uh, 
uh, please subscribe if you're into Arizona fishing. Uh, anytime, uh, hit me up or call me.